Hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee. And our next guest is the founder and CEO of Shenix. She joins us today to speak about her company's vision, the work that her partners are doing to grow the organization, uh, the release of their app, and its impact on closing the La Latina wage gap. So please welcome to the show, Olga. Olga Camargo. Olga, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here today to talk about this important topic. Yeah. Well, you're always welcome to come back, you know, you, you know, and we, 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 we're so happy that you're here. Um, let's talk about this important. Tell us a little bit about yourself first. Sure. Um, so I am, I, I was raised in Chicago and still here in Chicago, um, in little village. So that's the Mexican community here. That's, um, you know, very properly known in the entire nation and beyond. And so growing up in Chicago, uh, I also grew up within the uh, family business. And so growing up in the family business, I got to learn a lot, uh, becoming a future business owner, um, a lot from my mom. That mm -hmm. was my first mentor. And I also, I learned about business. And then I also learned about a lot of needs that we have as Latina women, uh, just individually and also as business women. Yeah. So your entrepreneurship came from Chicago? And from the what's the name of the business out there? Um, so the business that I grew up in, uh, yes. that was called my bridal shop. Ah. So yeah, I was in the uh, bridal shop, I guess uh, you know business, and so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, but I'm now in finance, so I have about 20 years of being uh, part of the financial services industry, and currently I have been working for over a decade to really help our black and brown communities become more retirement ready. Yeah. And so, yeah, so helping out really like the C-suite, like those organizations that are trying to help their workforce. I start off there, but then I also get the opportunity to work with individuals that are part of the workforce and do the education meetings on the 401k or 403b plans. But when I'm getting questions, they're not necessarily always about retirement. It's about how to make ends meet. It's about how do I continue growing in my in my career so that I can make more money to bring more money back home? Um, it's also about what is the importance of a credit score yeah. and so forth and so forth. And these are the rooms are primarily when I go into the Latino community, they're primarily filled with women, the women. And it's not just the women that are actually basically within the employee at the employee level. It's also with the women that are included within the executive levels. Yeah, and with that wedding business, it helped prepare you for a whole lot because within that world, you had everything under one roof, you know? You had the yeah. well, you had the, the videographer, the photographer, the DJ, the booking of the room, the, everything that comes with the food, everything that comes along with it. So I, I'm, I'm sure it prepares you well for what you're doing now. So a lot of women come up to you and they want to know about finances, credit, credit scores, and things of that nature. Yes, and also knowing um, some women, as you know, um, a lot of women are sometimes underemployed. And yeah. so even if they are employed, they're probably not making enough. And this is where that wage gap comes into play. Uh, you know, working more than nine to five jobs, that's reality for many people. And still not being able to make ends meet at the end of the week. So they have to sometimes for women, especially Latina women, they also have a side hustle. And so the side hustle sometimes is just that part-time sort of like business. Yeah. And sometimes it, it becomes more than just a side hustle and it becomes a full-blown business. So this is where now they're thinking, okay, so I'm making money. Um, I still need to be able to make ends meet. Um, but I also need to know how I keep that money. And so just because you know how to earn the money doesn't necessarily mean, right, that you know how to spend the money or it. save the money. <laughs> right. Yes, that's exactly right. It's 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 reality. Yeah, yeah. So then you started uh, Shinix. Tell us about that. What what is it all about? All right. So when I th when you think about Shinix, she yes, you got it. Uh, when you talk about Shinix, it's about um, women, more Latinas entering the workforce. Ah. Um, it's a, yes, it's about also it, when you think about those trends, right? And what's happening now, plus those trends in terms of like how they're going to continue to grow in the workforce. It's, it's uh, estimated by 2028, uh, 
uh, Latinas will constitute about like 9.2% of the entire workforce. So when you think about that, working more just doesn't necessarily mean you're actually moving yeah. up in your, in your, in your financial objectives or that you're actually doing, making happen what you want to happen. Right. So we started thinking about, we know that this is a reality now. What does that mean in the future? And what can we do right now to be able to have Latinas be better prepared so that when they go into the workforce, they're coming in understanding, Hey, I looked for this position and I did my homework and I know that I'm getting fair pay, right? So we want equal pay. Um, and that's what we want to be able to start letting us off with. Uh, yes. And then we talked about those other items, like I said, in terms of like understanding all those other, um, you know, a credit score, why is that important? Um, also understanding what's going to help, how does that help prime you for a future home and so forth. We also want to, at the end, right, once, once they're actually gone through those more yeah. critical steps and setting themselves up, uh, also with an emergency fund, for example, then we can start talking about, okay, let's talk about investments beyond, obviously, retirement savings. Yes, 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 yes. And that rainy day fund, the whole nine. Now, you started an app. Talk about that app. Well, the app at this point is web-based, uh -huh. and we know that uh, what we're trying to do next year is we're going to actually try to also make it available on the phone, but we couldn't wait to make it available on the phone and not address the issues today. Mm -hmm. So people, we had just in less than two weeks of just like sending out through um, myself and my other two co-founders, co Patricia Mota, who's there in the red, and um, Juan Carlos Avila. Uh, we decided that we would go ahead and send out just a waitlist app, like sort of like announcement. Uh -huh. Hey, it's coming. Who's interested? So in less than two weeks, we got 250 Latinas to show up on that on that on that list, and it was just very much telling of yeah how much this this was needed. I was going to ask you to give them a shout out, but you just you you hooked them up. You hooked them up. Um, tell us about the the Latina uh, Equal Pay Day. So Latina Equal Pay Day took place this year on December 8th. And I remember um, about six years ago, I was actually talking a little bit about the Latina Equal Pay Day at an event also in New York. That was six years ago. And yeah. Latina Equal Pay Day back then was November 1st. Ah. So six years later, here we are. Um, so now Latinas have to work an additional, more than a month, right, to still get the same pay that a non-Latino white man would be making. So close to two years that she has to work mm -hmm. to be able to get that same pay. So that people say like, well, you know, they just need to do more. And, you know, it's, it's, it's their problem, but it's not their problem. It's not, not just their problem, I should say, or our problem. Yeah. Because I've, I've talked about how people within our own family, or even if you're out there, uh, you know, live, you, have, you have a Latina in your home and sometimes you're having to step in to, you know, uh, financially, then that's also, it starts impacting you as well. And, it's, and that's just one example of how this Latina unequal pay affects not just them, but people around them. So think about if they do have their equal pay, not only do you not have to step in, they might even be able to lend you something, right? So that's right. We just you got to think about you got to think about it in both ways. Yeah. What are some of the future plans for Shenix? So our future me, plan. Uh, and then give me a website and, and social media. Yeah. Sure, sure. So um, next year again, we are going to be launching our our uh, fintech education app. There it um, is, the big iPhone. launch. The big launch. There We're it ready. Is. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> But we did, I mean, this was our little pre-launch at this point, but uh -huh. again, people, people are, are making, um, you know, they're thinking about like, wow, I, I didn't have this before. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are some nice freebies on that, um, on that, uh, web-based, uh, app. You can get, um, right away, just answer a survey uh -huh. that allows you to get, um, an immediate response in terms of like, here's what oh, our great. suggested budget would be. And uh -huh. it's all free. And then you also get access right now to some of like the items such as like if I'm at work and I'm supposed to be, uh, you know, 
uh, selecting my health savings uh, plan. How, what does that look like? How does that work? Yeah, it's all explained on there through some of our videos already pre-recorded. It's all on sessions. a website. Everything's on a website. It's all on the one. So, and the Scenix app. Yeah, the Scenix app website is Scenix S H E N I X dot A P P. Well, we thank you and your partners, Juan Carlos Alvila. Uh, he's the president um, and CEO and co-founder, and Patricia Mota, right? The co-founder. Yes, I'm. Uh, yeah, so I'm the CEO of Sheenix, and and these are both my co-founders. Thank you so much, Olga Camargo, founder and CEO Sheenix. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, we'll take a quick break. Bobby C. He's up next. He has the latest in the world of sports coming up next on Open.